This is the BBC World News and Nova City Nassau Blog. Our top stories. Indonesia and China have agreed to use global platforms to strengthen bilateral ties with the COVID-19 response identified as the first and foremost issue to address together. Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia to the Kingdom of Cambodia, H.E. German Hussein, has conducted a bilateral meeting with the Minister of Health of the Kingdom of Cambodia, H.E. Professor Man Benheim, at the Ministry of Health, NOH. The main focus of the meeting was to enhance the operation in the field of health. Hello and welcome to BBC World News. Indonesia and China have agreed to use global platforms to strengthen bilateral ties with the COVID-19 response identified as the first and foremost issue to address together. The pledge was among the matters discussed during a phone call on Tuesday between Indonesian Foreign Minister Retno L.P. Masuri and Chinese State Councillor and Foreign Minister Wang Yi. Apart from discussing means to fight the spread of the deadly coronavirus, the two ministers exchanged notes on how their countries were addressing the global health crisis. The foreign minister conveyed her appreciation of the Chinese government's success in handling COVID-19. She also appreciated the assistance provided by the Chinese government for Indonesia in battling the virus. Foreign Ministry spokesperson Toku Feza Shah said on Thursday. During the phone call, the Indonesian minister expressed hope that the two countries would intensify their cooperation, including on the procurement of medical supplies Indonesia needs. According to the Chinese embassy in Jakarta, the assistance was a way of returning the favor to the international community, including Indonesia, which had helped China in its hardest time during the COVID-19 outbreak. Medical supplies consisting of test kits and 95 masks, surgical masks, protective gear, and portable ventilator were shipped on Tuesday, adding to delivery match the day before. Indonesia received a thousand of pieces of medical supplies from China on Monday. The equipment was transported on a military aircraft that landed at Halim Perdana Kusuma Air Force Base in East Jakarta after picking up the goods from Shanghai. China also stands ready to deepen cooperation with Indonesia in responding to the epidemic and is ready to share its experience with Indonesia in other ASEAN countries. We are confident that under the leadership of President Joko Widodo, the Indonesian people will ultimately prevail over the epidemic, said Wang Yi in a statement on Wednesday. The Chinese minister said China and Indonesia, both being important members of the G20, should work together for more solidarity and coordination among the group and sent a unified, positive message in the face of unprecedented challenges posed by COVID-19. Indonesia and China should also support other countries in their outbreak response and contribute to global public health security, he added. And the next news. Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia to the Kingdom of Cambodia, H. E. Sudirman Hussein, has conducted a bilateral meeting with the Minister of Health of the Kingdom of Cambodia, H. E. Professor Mam Banheng, at the Ministry of Health, M. O. H. The main focus of the meeting was to enhance cooperation in the field of health. Cambodia is a country with a very big heart by providing vaccination for embassy and also planted vaccine for foreign citizens living in Cambodia, including Indonesians, said Ambassador Sudirman Hussein. We convey our gratitude to the royal government of Cambodia, especially to the medical staff and health workers who are giving their tireless effort to fight in the pandemic. In the front line, 
including the treatment and care towards Indonesian citizens who were infected. On the same occasion, Ambassador Sudirman Hassan also introduced and handed Indonesian pharmaceutical and packaged food products as a form of the embassy's solidarity, care and appreciation towards the government of Cambodia. The pharmaceutical products are supplements to boost the immune and also good and cough medicines. Meanwhile, the packaged food products are instant noodles and also biscuits. Cooperation in the field of health is one of the main focus of the bilateral meeting between the President of the Republic of Indonesia, H. E. Joko Widodo, with the Prime Minister of the, Com of the Kingdom of Cambodia, Samdek Hansen, in the sideline of ASEAN leaders' meeting conducted in Jakarta. During the meeting, other than reiterating the importance of multilateral vaccine, President Joko Widodo also invites Cambodia to strengthen the cooperation in the field of pharmacy, medicines, and medical devices. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.